and thank you for joining us at VS9. We are not the same. Here's the remaining interview with Connie Chume, Modupe Cajiso, and Reginald Rafael. Somebody asked me, they were like, can I go to Wakanda? And I'm like, Wakanda is non-existing, but Wakanda is you, you know? And um, I really think, yeah. Reggie, um, I want to touch on, you know, what you do as a makeup artist, um, what you thought of mm. just the makeup, the work, um, in terms of fashion in the movie. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, I love the whole fashion, the whole ancestors. And, you know, I, I'm, cause I'm into that. I mean, I have my crystals, my rocks, if you can't see them, but um, even though I was raised Catholic, it's like, I, I love my crystals and rocks. So it was like the whole learning about the ancestors, mm. the colors and um, the culture. It's, it's just, it was just bright. I love brightness. So it was just beautiful. It was really, really, I, I enjoyed it was, that. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Connie, can you tell us your role in that movie? And I don't want to just, you know, um, just stay on just the movie, but I remember that you had, you had quite an important role in the movie. I mean, you're very humble. When we yeah. talk about being humble, Cariso would mention, you know, humility. <laughs> and I think you're, yes. yeah, the <laughs> epitome of what humility is and class, honestly. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about your yes. role in the movie? Okay, I was a mining tribe elder. As we know that uh, in Wakanda, uh, there were four elders because it's such an organized uh, country. There's a mining tribe elder, which means I'm responsible for all the vibranium. So you can't just come in and take our vibranium. You have to go through me, the character. Yeah. Then we had the mining, we had a border elder, we had a water and land elder, mm -hmm. we had a merchant elder. Yeah. So you see, merchant stands for eco economy. And of course, water and land, it stands for, for the land. Yeah. And my role was the mining tribe elder. Uh, the way it was written, you would have thought it's a small role because I don't say much, but when you think about how Wakanda became what it is, mm. that's because there's vibranium there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. my role wouldn't, couldn't have been written to be big, mm. but I think it was a big role because there's no Wakanda without the vibranium, mm. which mm -hmm. the mining tribe elder is responsible for. Wow. So that was my role. I was the mining tribe elder. Hey, mining tribe elder. Thank you. <laughs> we are yep. honored. No, it, it was beautiful. Responsible for, beautiful. for the resources. <laughs> yeah. So although you protected us, that's for sure. Yes, um, yes. I have to keep, I have to protect the resources of Wakanda. For Wakanda. Well, with that, I want yeah. to ask you a pretty, I mean, relevant question right now with what's going on in the temperature of um, especially America, but I know you feel it in Africa. Black Lives Matter. How and how is that affecting who you are over there? And how are you uh, receiving it as a, as a nation, but also as a continent um, it, over there? You know, you know, uh, you know, uh, let me let me start by saying all lives matter. Ah, okay. <laughs> but there's a reason. There's a reason why mm. there's Black Lives Matter now, because of the things that are happening, especially in the United States. We've seen yeah. with sadness, you know, and surprise that a country that's supposed to be so civilized mm -hmm. and Black people are being maimed and killed, right. you know, like that yeah. blatant killing in broad daylight, you know, mm. and I, I don't know how to describe it because, you know, sometimes we want to take from what America has done, what America has achieved, mm. but the way things are happening, it seems like uh, it's not, it's not yet Uhuru, as, as Letambudu would put it. Um, yeah. I don't know how people feel about doing that to a fellow to a fellow human being. Yeah. Mm. 
Because those people that you are killing, those people that you are maiming, they are human beings, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's not something that's happening in America only. Okay, in, in South Africa and everywhere else, it's probably still happening. Right now, we had a big issue with a pharmacy that was selling a, a hair product that said our hair is not good. Oh, wow. <laughs> and there was a big... <laughs> yes, and there was a big hellabaloo about it right now. Wow. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening, but as far as I'm concerned, Black Lives Matter, just as much as all lives matter. And the reason there's Black Lives Matter is a result of what has been happening to Black lives. Hmm. Not that other lives don't matter, but because of the things that have been happening to Black people, and yeah. black lives that is why today we have what we call black lives matter wow you know Thank oh God. You. uh Cariso, <laughs> can you chime Sorry, in because man. you're yeah. all about change so tell us your thoughts on black yeah. lives matter you know mm-hmm. i say you know and the the biggest enemy for any human being mm-hmm. is to become comfortable Mm. Because once you become comfortable, then you forget, you know? And and this is not the first time we've seen um, Black lives being, you know, uh, brutalized like this. You know, uh, we look at, and, and for me, I look at, as, 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 as an African who's gone through apartheid as a South African, mm. mm-hmm. you know? Uh, but it's the same thing that 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 American, uh, you know, Black Americans have gone through with your Martin Luther, your 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 Malcolm X. You know, this is not the first time that we've seen such brutality. But what mm-hmm. happens is that, you know, um, even us as as a Black people, we 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 become so comfortable or, or accustomed to this, and then we forget, and then we move on. Mm. You know, who's talking about Floyd now? You know, yeah. yes. we, we're just going to wait for the next person right. to be killed, and then we make another noise with it, and then it dies down. Mm. So well, for me, I'm saying noise out here. They're still making noise out here right. with um, like the certain um, people. They're still fighting for Breonna Taylor. For they're yeah. not only fighting for um, her; they're fighting for everybody else. So it's not only they, it didn't die yeah. down. It's, they're still right. making noise. It's just like the media is not making noise out here in the United States. Yeah. Because who controls the media? Who controls the media? (laughs) What we as black people need to do around the world is Mm -hmm. make sure that we don't stop making noise. It's not just Mm -hmm. the the black people in America. Mm -hmm. We are able to beat it because of the international influence. So we need to find ways in how we can help the black Mm -hmm. Americans Mm. You know, um, beat the thing. It's not just them that need to make noise. We need to come to the party too. Yeah. Because right. yeah. they are yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No, well said, well said, because yeah. I see clearly um, there used to be a clear distinction between African Americans and Africans. You know, you could really see the, uh, the, the, the difference. But I think, if anything, Black Lives Matter to me, I've made it a yeah. point to be part of the, the, not so the movement, but to under, let people understand that there's a reason why we're saying that Black Lives Matter, right, Reggie? I think here in America, we're, you know, we're, we're carrying on the, the, the lucha, like you would say, or, you know, just we the, are, yeah. the uh, education process. So elaborate on that from your point of view. Yeah, but we yeah. we need to be shutting down the American. We we as 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 South Africans and mm-hmm. and and as as Africans all over yeah. Africa, yeah. we need to be to to be shutting down all the American embassies so that we can support the Americans who 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 you know the the, the, the African Americans who are in America. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And so, mm. so what happens is that what we do is that we keep saying Black Lives Matter and we post it on social media, yeah. but the American embassies are still standing here. Yes. We need to make sure that this literally shakes everything, you know, mm. so, yeah. that, mm. so that Black lives can matter. 
Absolutely. That's true. Uh, Carissa, I feel like we could just, you know, <laughs> talk about this for days and days, but I'm going to go back to Connie and ask her, um, you know, um, for all the anti-Black Lives Matter uh, pr protesters, do you have one word of wisdom for them? Because um, I think, uh, if anything, you've gone through, you've seen what apartheid has done to your country, but also in the diaspora, um, what can you say to them so that they could understand the movement? I would say, what do you regard us as? Because even your dogs and your cats, you care for them and you love them. Why is it that you don't think another human being is worth living or is worth anything? Mm. Can you just pause and think wow. so that we can have a peaceful world and we can all live together mm -hmm. in the same world because we cannot wish Wish, wish each other away because we are here and we have to coexist. What are you saying to me? Are you saying your cat's life or your dog's life is better than mine? Because we are human. We are all human. So can you just take time and think about what you are doing? You are doing it to a fellow human being. Are you saying my life doesn't matter? And yet you go to church and you pray every Sunday and you raise your hands and you praying and everything and you claim to be Christian and you don't consider my life as worth anything. Mm. Africans have built countries. They have built America. They have built South Africa. They have built Britain. They have built any country that you can think of. So can you just pause and be human so that you can also see me as human if maybe by any chance you have not seen me seen me as human. Mm -hmm. Wow. Powerful. Um, Reggie, what are your thoughts on, you know, what can we say after what <laughs> we've just heard? Uh, I mean, I, I hear her, but I, it's like, that's what we're dealing with that every day. Like as a black yeah. man, it's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, living out here, it's like, I'm, I think I feel protected. You know what I'm saying? I feel really blessed. So I can't complain, but you know, sometimes you, you do get nervous every time you see the cops. I shouldn't feel nervous every time I see a cop. Mm -hmm. behind me. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the struggle. And they, like you said, these same people who, 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 who go to church and praise God are the same ones who's hating, um, like who, who, who want the black people to be gone. I'm like, I, I try not to like be consumed by it because I don't want it to affect me because not for nothing during this pandemic, I had to find a therapist. I, it, it's like, it, it hit me, you know, not being creative enough. And you know, it's just, you, you, you have to find your happy place. And I found my happy place, you know, which is still doing art and still creating, still doing makeup, thankfully and safely. But um, wow. yeah, I, I, I try not to let that, uh, it's hard for us out here, but um, yeah, I try to stay positive, if anything, just keep my head up and just do what I gotta do, Amazing. you know? This is live, as you guys see, my lights just went out. I mean, all about being on live, <laughs> you know, <laughs> conversations. But thank you so much, Reggie. You, you went into so much that I'd like to even, you know, unravel. But really, thank you. Positivity is key. Kajiso, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about what you think um, anti-Black Lives Matter protesters ought to know. <laughs> I know, I put you on the spot. I know why I said it that way. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Yeah. No, you didn't. Um, I like telling the truth. Thank you. you. Know? Thank you. Um, if there's one thing that we need to stop doing is we, not, we need to stop feeling sorry for ourselves. As mm. Right. That's it. You know, for me, you, we got to stop feeling sorry for ourselves and start treating ourselves as human beings first before we expect the next person to treat us as human beings.